Put in that word. Another one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Fantasy Typhoon Studios. I'm your humble host, the Fantasy Typhoon, a.k.a. the Mentalist, a.k.a. your favorite analyst, favorite analyst. Welcome to Lesson 44, Selling at the Highest Point. Now, I said selling at the highest point, not selling at the highest price. Selling at the highest point. Not price, not meaning the haul you get in return means selling at the highest point, meaning the highest point of that player's career. Have you ever sold at the highest point? Make sure you listen to this video. Make sure you smash subscribe. Make sure you like and comment. If you're, if you're new, make sure you smash subscribe and like come join the, the community here at the Fantasy Typhoon Studios, what we're trying to build. Trying to build an army of everybody just working together learning information off each other and growing as a community. That's what this channel is for. So make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, uh, selling at the, at the highest point is referring to the individual player at his highest point. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's the Fantasy Typhoon here, selling at the highest point, lesson 44. Look, it have you ever sold at the highest point? After this video is over, make sure you comment and let me know, yes, Typhoon, I've sold at the highest point, this is what happens, or no, I, if selling at the highest point is the, that definition of what you just broke down, uh, then no, I haven't. Just bear with me for about another three to four minutes. And then comment if you've ever sold at the highest point. Now, selling at the highest point. Okay, let's give an example. Christian McCaffrey last year. Now, if you sold Christian McCaffrey last year, you sold at the highest point in his career. That was the highest point. Now, we all knew outside circumstances were going to come in and kind of the winds were going to blow here and there. He wasn't going to return that 1.01 value off the top. We knew he would be maybe the 1.4, the 1.6, 1.8, but the 1.01. Will he ever see that 1.01 again? Now, remember, if you sold last year, you sold at the highest point. Now, I'm not even talking about what you got in return for him because that's the highest price. We're, fucked. We're talking about the point. Now, if you sold a player at the highest point, you this is how you feel. Oh, should I have done that? You, you second guess yourself. You, uh, you, you, you second guess everything in your aura, everything around you. You just... Uh, you can't sleep at night too much. Oh, man, it's just something inside you that bothers you. Oh, I shouldn't have sold him. That's when you sold at the highest point because that player is producing points. He might put up a 30-point game, a 33-point game, a 34-point game, and then you trade him at his highest point. Everybody around you, you like you go to some of the closest folks around you. Hey, you know. You think I should have did that? The, the main responses will be no. Because you sold at the player's highest point. Like selling Josh Jacobs now. At his highest point. Like selling Saquon Barkley last year. And then here comes the injury this year. But you, you didn't foresee the injury coming. But you sold at the highest point and it hurt. And then the smoke started to clear out. Okay, I made the right decision. Because when you sell at the highest point, you don't know you sold at the right time until, about, I would say, about another year, year and a half. 
before you really realize, you know what, I did the right thing. I sold at the highest point. Like, let's say, for instance, Saquon Barkley. He's out with the torn ACL, we all know, for the rest of this season. Right? Then, last year, he had a high ankle sprain. He missed, what, four, three, four, six games. I don't know exactly how many he missed. But in other words, he missed some of his fantasy season. So, selling Saquon Barkley at the highest point was the year before. But not last year, 2019. Not, not, no, no, not selling them this year, 2020, excuse me. Not last year, selling them in 2019 when he had the high, high ankle sprain. Selling Saquon Barkley at the highest point was 2018. If you sold Saquon Barkley at, Barkley at, at, at in 2018, you sold him at the highest point. And in 2018, you had no idea he wouldn't get a whole whole season in 2019. And then you were not aware that he was just going to miss the basically the entire fantasy football season of 2020. So if you sold in 2018, it hurt because Saquon Barkley was at his highest point. He was balling. Fantasy points were in abundance. He was just doing it week in and week out, and you sold him at his highest point. It hurts when you sell a player at his highest point is what I'm saying. You just don't feel right. It's just something, uh, did I do the right thing is what's the number one question going around in your mind. Did I do the right thing when you sell at the highest point? I hope my, my, my good friend, uh, TD does it by me using him as example. Dwayne Brown on Twitter, if you will. He just sold Jonathan Taylor for Saquon Barkley. And then he comes on Twitter and says, ah, did I do the right thing? He sold at the highest point. Everybody in, in America thinks, well, he's got the old line that he's got, uh, uh, Good coaching staff and Frank Wright. Uh, Marlon Mack is out the picture. So, so everyone thinks. So it looks like he is going to just start putting fantasy points in abundance with Ch Captain Checkdown Phillip Rivers. But he bought Saquon Barkley and everybody was saying to him that he sold. He shouldn't have done the deal. In other words, that's the response you get when you sold at the highest point. Folks don't get it because, wow, why would you sell him with that bright future ahead of him for Saquon Barkley? I, I responded, Saquon Barkley is a blue chip. You make that deal every day. You take a, a player that's okay, the system around him makes him, I'm saying he's not, he's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trashing him please it's not a trash video but the circumstances around him make him a little bit better than what he is Saquon Barkley is a thermostat he makes the situation it's Saquon Barkley's team but if you look at Indian Indianapolis that's more of a Philip Rivers team okay let's put it to you this way this is the test take Saquon Barkley out of New York put him into Indianapolis who's the starter Saquon Barkley. That means Saquon Barkley is the better player, in my opinion. That's my opinion. You can have your own opinion. I comment. If you think Saquon Barkley is the better, we're talking about, we're not talking about points. We're talking about better player. If Saquon Barkley is a better player or not, I don't care. It's, it's up to you. This is Remember, these are recommendations. These are observations. These are things I'm just putting out to you. Now that you know the meaning of selling at the highest point, now comment, have you ever sold at the highest point with a player since you've been playing fantasy football? Comment. Make sure you smash, subscribe, and like. You can contact me, the fantasy typhoon at hotmail.com if you want guest appearances on your podcast. I have 220 of these tips and tricks, remember. I'll be uploading these every Saturday is pretty much the day, but I had some free time today on Thursday. It's game day. I had some free time, so here's your video. Lesson 44, selling at the highest point.